ladies and gentlemen, let's build a fish trap. Here we go, saw on away. It's gonna cut this one in half. We're gonna do it again one more time. We're gonna stuff the trap full of shrimp. <laughs> Whatever we have inside here is officially trapped. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today we're going to be building a fish trap and going to place it at one of my favorite locations of all time. This location has treated me well every single solitary time I have been there. But we are starting off today's video at my brand new 1,000 gallon saltwater pond. Now a lot of you guys were asking if I put a shade on and yes, as you guys can see, I have a temporary shade. My actual shade is coming in the mail today and I wanna show you guys what the pond's looking like right now. Ugh. So this is basically what I'm gonna have to do every time because I'm not gonna let a lick of sunlight hit this pond because last time the algae just completely ate it up so Every time I feed, every time I film, I'm gonna have to remove this tent here. So right here is the brand new 1,000 gallon saltwater pond. And if you missed the whole entire pond build, I have the video out now live. It was the last video that I posted. It has 75,000 views in less than 48 hours. And this is the final result. Now today we're not gonna be adding any fish to it because I need to let the pond cycle. But what we are gonna be doing in the near future is really completing the pond. What I mean by that is adding the accessories like putting the, the fence around the side here and then getting the flowers and stuff. So that'll all be done in the near future. But as of right now, the pond is crystal clear. We're letting it cycle. It's running and I just cannot wait to add Charizard, the Stingray, all those amazing stuff and the sharks and the groupers and all the other stuff we're gonna add to this pond. It's going to be ridiculous. So yes, get ready for the videos coming with the 1000 gallon saltwater pond. Every time I look at this thing, I am just absolutely amazed by it. But after building this saltwater pond, I had a lot of leftover material and I thought, why don't we put it to use? So in here I have a bunch of PVC pipe that I have left over. As you guys know, if you watch that video, I built the structure of the rock structure out of PVC pipe. And as of right now, I've got quite a bit of pipe left. I got some adapters as well. I got PVC glue. I got a whole bunch of stuff. So I don't want to let any material go to waste. I thought to myself, hey. Why don't we build a fish trap out of this? But we do need to go and get more material to actually build like a, a strong, sturdy fish trap that's gonna actually catch fish. So we're gonna hop in Big Brown right now, the brown turd, and we're gonna head over to Home Depot. Now as we're heading to Home Depot, I just wanna thank all of you guys so much for all the love and support on my last video. I was telling Tori, who's actually filming me behind the camera, how important that video was for my channel. I put a lot of money, I put a lot of time, I put a lot of effort into that pond, and to see it paying off is absolutely amazing. So I wanna tell each and every single one of you guys that if you work hard at something and you put your time and dedication into it, it will pay off. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for the love and support. Let's keep it up, you guys. We're doing awesome, the channel's grown and I love you all so much. I'll see you guys at Home Depot. We're at Home Depot, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go get some stuff to build a trap. Let's go. Howdy, people. Here's what we're thinking. We are in the wrong aisle. I think we're in the shower aisle. That's definitely not the aisle we want to be in. We got to get some pipe and we got to get some mesh. We have three pipes and four 90 looking things at home. So we got to get some more pipe. We got a saw at home. And we're just gonna go get some stuff, okay? I don't really know what we're after. People looked at me like I had 14 toenails on my face because I was filming inside of Home Depot. We gotta fight through it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Okay, we're at the pipe here. We're gonna go with the half inch pipe. This is already what I have at home, so here's what I'm thinking. It's gonna go like this. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to get an idea of how many I'm gonna actually need, so this is what I'm thinking, like that. So. We got one, two, three, four, five, six times two, that's 12. Carry the four, that's three. So we need probably like 18. Man, that's wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six. We need 12 of these. We need, no, no, we need 14 of these. No, no. We got all of our goods. We're heading home now. We're making a fish trap. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's build a fish trap. Typically, I build some really big ones that are really tall, but this time I'm gonna build one that's really long and not as tall. It's only gonna be about like there. So first things first, we gotta saw some of these 
in half. Here we go, sawing away. Gonna cut this one in half. We're gonna do it again one more time. Perfect, all right, so there we go. Wow, that's uh, pretty far off there. Jack, uh, we gotta cut an inch off this one. Ugh! There we go, that should be good. All right, so that is gonna be the height of our fish trap right there, okay? Put one of these on there, boom, and boom. So as you guys can see, that's gonna be our height. Then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna go there with a coupling, coupling, another pipe. So that's gonna be the height right there, and that's gonna be the length. So let's keep building off this, get this thing done. We got pretty much everything finished. All we gotta do is put the last layer. There we go, coupling, another two footer. Go right into this corner. Boom, just like that, into this one. Boom, there we go. That is our fish trap right there. Obviously, we need some mesh. We need a little bit of a love and goodness, a little bit of help. But if you look, it's not too tall. It's nice in length. And that's exactly what we want. Now, we gotta get our mesh and put it on the sides. Here's our mesh right here. 40 inches by 25 feet. That is absolutely magnificent. One inch squares. We're gonna lay it across the, the bad boy right here. So let's open this thing up. There we go. Perfect. Booyah, booyah, booyah. What is this? What's wrong with this thing? We got her, we got her. Man, they really don't want people to open up their products here. Oh my God. We got it, we got it. This is gonna be the most time consuming part. Basically, all we're doing, taking this, laying it across, just like that. We'll zip tie the ends. We'll put this thing around the whole entire fish trap. That way, you know, it becomes a trap. Alrighty, there we have it, pretty much the finished product. The only thing left to do is to add an entry point for these fish to go inside. So I think I'm gonna put it here since the fish trap's gonna lay like that on the bottom. I want the fish to come in like this because I'm gonna tie a line here so when we pull it, we pull it this way. That way the fish slide to the back and not get out through this part here. So let's cut a hole. We're gonna make a hole that's you know big enough for decent fish, but I, don't, I really don't wanna make it too, too big. So I'm thinking like, like that. Here we go, moment of truth. Makes me worried, guys. This is just hard work. All right, last cut, boom. There we go. Okay, I think that's literally perfect. I think that's actually perfect. Here's, here's what our thought's gonna be. So it's gonna sit like this. The fish trap door will be like this, just like that. It'll be open. Fish can swim right inside. Over the years of fish trapping, a lot of the times this, this uh, trap door will kind of swing a little bit like this while it's in the current. So really, you just gotta pull the trap at the right time. If they swim in, a lot of the times once they're in, they try and swim out and they kind of hit the, the gate here. So we should totally be good. Also, when you have a lot of bait inside the trap, you wanna have enough bait inside here that there's enough for them to hang out inside here for like 25 minutes. If you only have enough where they got one piece, they get it, they're gonna wanna get the heck out. But if there's a lot of food, they're gonna be occupied. The only thing on a fish's mind, literally when it wakes up in the morning is, I'm ready to eat. So put a lot of bait inside here, which we're gonna head to the shop right now, get some bait, and we're gonna go throw this thing in the water, baby. Let's boogie to the brown turd we go. Alrighty, we've made it to the spot. We got our fish trap completely built and we're gonna get this thing in the water right now. We already hit the bait shop. I forgot to record there, so I'm sorry. We got a whole pack of shrimp right here. This is the best bait in the whole entire ocean. We got our entry point right here and we're gonna stuff the trap full of shrimp. Get all that in there, baby. Let's freaking go. Now here's the million dollar question, ladies and gentlemen. Where do we want to put our fish trap today? It's kind of cold out, so I don't really want to get wet. I think we should put it over there. Okay. All right, let's go. Now if you take a look at the hat in the back of my head, right there, that is the brand new Shark Draw Trucker. I announced it in my last video that it just dropped. I told you guys it was going to sell out quick, and guess what? They're already sold out. It was less than three days. They were gone so thank you to everybody who purchased one if you didn't get one we're restocking them soon and if you want to go browse the site fishguy.shop click the first link down in my description and use code fishguyjack it'll save you 10 percent so we're going to set the fish trap over on this side of the bridge and we're definitely going to look inside of this puddle right here take a look there's a tide pool and we're going to see if there's 
anything stuck living inside. But first, oh yeah, look, there's a pufferfish. There's a pufferfish right there. See him? We gotta save him. There's a baby, baby pufferfish right there. Look at this little guy. We're gonna come back for you, sir. We're gonna save you. Let's get the fish trap in the water. All right, we're gonna throw the trap right over here behind me near these mangroves. Oh my God, a big fish just jumped over there. Okay, this is good. This spot's loaded today. The overcast days, I love them. All right, let's get this in the water. Oh, there's a puffer right there. I think we're just gonna throw it like right over here. Yeah, let's put it over here. We just spooked a needlefish or a barracuda right there. You bring Perfect. A, did you bring a rope? We're good. No, it's shallow enough to where I can grab it. As I threw that trap, I just spooked a needlefish or something. There's so many puffer fish around the area. That's gonna sit there. It's perfect depth. It's absolutely perfect. So we'll check that thing in about 30 to 45 minutes. Back to the tide pool here. You guys can see that this is literally isolated. There's, there's no way out at this point. There's a sea well right there and there's no way out over here. So we gotta see what's inside this pocket. We're gonna save whatever's inside. You see this little guy right here? This poor little guy, this little tiny puffer fish. Come here, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. Come here. Oh my God. I just caught him. I literally just caught him with effortless, effortless catch. A baby, baby puffer fish. He's trapped inside of this tide pool here. And if we left, and I mean, I don't really know when high tide is. I believe the tide is still going out. This guy would be completely dried up or a bird would come and it's an easy, quick snack. That is such a cute little puffer fish. Let's go get this guy back in the water so he can live another day. What should we name him, Tor? So this is Dinky, our baby puff fish that we just saved. Let's go ahead, let him go. Goodbye, buddy. Go swim another day. Go swim. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right next to him. Come here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, he's got a little life. He's not doing too good. He's not doing good. Go on. Get out of here. Why is he like? No, he's not doing well. Go, buddy. All right. Well, we'll let you be. We'll let you rest here. I don't want to stress you out, but there's literally so many puffer fish all around on this beach. It's so funny because they're all so cute. Now to kill time, we're gonna throw the cast in around this area, see what we can find. A lot of the times we'll find some crazy stuff on this beach, so. Whoa, big gust of wind. Wow. I saw that coming. <laughs> so we're gonna load this net up here. We're gonna start slinging it around and see what we can find. Perfect cast. Yeah. All right, let's dive in here. I think we got some baby fish. Can't really tell. Yeah, we got some, what the heck? Ton of them. Yeah, we got a ton. This is not what I was expecting to catch whatsoever. Are these baby little, so, uh, Sergeant Majors. Are these baby little sand perch right here? These are actually excellent bait for when we go out snook fishing and such, but for right now, we don't really need any of these guys, so we'll go ahead and let them go. Man, we got a ton of them. Look at all those, that's a big one right there. All right, let's get them in the water. Goodbye, guys. Everybody swim off nice. Go on. Oh, did you see that? Uh-huh. Something big. Oh my god. No way. Hang on, guys. I think we're gonna be loaded here. <gasps> Look at this! Bunch of pilchards! Holy crap! Are you kidding me? <laughs> many pilchards oh my god okay we do not need all these guys that is like 500 fish no joke look at how many fish <laughs> holy shoot let them all go oh my god so what we just netted is a baby pilchard these guys come around in the summertime and obviously they come in big schools. No joke, we probably just had like two to 300 of them inside the cast net. And that gets me so excited for when I have some big fish inside the pond. We're gonna be able to come here, throw the net on those, and then have an epic live feeding in the saltwater pond. That's something you really start looking forward to. But this guy right here, we let everybody go. This one, we're gonna use as bait. We're gonna throw it out on the bridge here. See if we can catch a big snapper or a big aquarium fish. Fish on, baby. On the pilchard, on the live pilchard right there. What do we got? Oh! <laughs> I knew that's what would be feeding on these guys. So right here we have a jack revolve. These guys are eating all those pilchards right there, just scourging on all those pilchards. I mean, you guys saw how many we caught. These guys are probably in schools attacking the crap out of these guys. That's a super cool fish. These guys grow up to be like 40, 50, 60 pounds. Let me tell you what, they fight real hard. They got a real fork tail. That guy is epic. All right, little guy, go on. Grow to be big. 
All right, guys, the wind is really picking up here. We look like we have a big storm. It's time to pull the fish trap. Let's see what's inside. We're back at the trap now. We're gonna go pull this puppy. The tide's dropping, surprisingly, because it's already pretty damn low, but let's go see what we have inside. I'm fired up. <laughs> Whatever we have inside here is officially trapped. This is the door. Okay, no peeking, everybody. I like to find out when you guys find out, all right? Let's see. Oh my god, we got killed. No! Holy crap! Ah! One and done deal, but look at that! Oh my gosh, I didn't think this through. How are we gonna get this guy out? That's a Kuda! That's my first ever Barracuda inside of a fish trap. Look at that right there. Oh. My. God. That is a baby Barracuda right here. This guy's gonna grow up to be absolutely massive. Look at the teeth inside here. This is the first one I've actually ever caught inside of a fish trap, and this might be the smallest one I've ever caught as well. Unfortunately, this guy's about nine inches. They gotta be 15 inches to keep, otherwise he'd be going right inside of my saltwater aquarium. But I think that might go down to the history books right there for the best fish I've ever caught inside of a fish trap. That thing is absolutely insane. Look at that, fierce predator. I don't wanna keep him out of the water too long. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. All right, little guy, go on, little revival. How'd you like those shrimp? He was hanging around all those pilchards. There he goes, get out of here. Bye bye. What an awesome catch. I really, I literally looked at it and I was like, holy cow, we got killed, we didn't get anything because he was on his gray side and he blended in with the green. And then I saw that was a beauty. Smash the like button on the video right now if you think that was the best fish I think we've ever caught. Other than maybe like an eel we caught that was epic. That barracuda though, if I could have kept that and put that in the 125 and then moved it in the saltwater pond when it was ready, I would have freaked out, ladies and gents. That's gonna wrap it up here at this spot. I'll see you guys back at the house. We're at the 4,000 gallon pond here in the backyard with all the freshwater fish. As you guys can see, we filled the pond up super high. Actually, Brooke did it this morning. She did a big water change and the koi fish are loving it. Let's go ahead, feed the kois. Guys, literally, I love feeding the koi. I don't know what it is. It's just so easy to feed them, one. And two, just the color is just ridiculous and the tarpon gets me every time. So we just feed them these little koi pellets that float on the top, and these things go to town on it, baby. Look at all that color. The pond looks so much better now that it's completely filled. Tori is a popular woman. Her phone keeps going off in the background. Pond looks so good filled. Oh my God, the tarpon is just outrageous. But my queen angelfish inside actually eats pellets hand-fed right off the surface. So once he gets inside of that pond right over there, which we already put the... We put the shade already back on. You guys can see that it shaded like 23 seven because out of that one hour of the day, you know, making sure, checking on the fish, feeding the fish and all that. So the pond is always covered, no algae. This thing is going to be perfect. Somebody's picking up the tin can today and I just cannot wait to film videos with the pond. I want you guys to comment down below right now what fish you wanna see go inside. But don't forget to go check out fishguy.shop. First link down in the description. Use my code fishguyjack to save you 10%. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for the support. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I will catch you all in that next one. Peace out, yo.